absolutely an amazing amazing day we had so much fun and um, just a whole bunch of people came out and that was somebody looking into the camper right now um, but uh, the setup is beautiful the weather was great it's a bit on the cooler side and so it's great sweater weather no I can't say it right sweater weather sweater weather Am I saying it right? Sweat away. I don't speak fast, so it's hard for me to say. But um, my husband came with my son and I this time, so it was easier to set up. Uh, we had to split the setting up. We set up early evening, and then it got too dark. I couldn't see the colorways, and then set up the rest of the uh, this morning. This setup here with our camper is a lot different than at the Endless Mountain Fiber Festival. Um, where we have no access to electricity. So we um, are running off uh, like an inverter that's connected to a battery and a, uh, we purchased a solar generator, which is the coolest thing. And we also have these nifty, which they're still charging, but these nifty solar lights, they are so great. Um, you have them yourself do you use them they're by fly whom which i've had them for maybe a month now and i've been using them on and off but they do a pretty good job that's like the sos thing right there okay let's see can i shut it off okay there we go but um so the setup is quite a bit different um which i've been gearing up more to be able to handle uh, camping spots that don't have electricity to you know so we can still do certain things in the comfort uh, that have require electricity and we can do them comfortably still and uh, so we're, we're slowly getting ourselves around built up with the solar generator the inverter the solar lights and we have propane so our little um buddy mr buddy thing is done by propane and our uh food our stove is run off propane so that makes it quite easy now we're surrounded by people right now i guess there's bingo night happening in the main hall so there's a pile of vehicles and i wonder if uh, I think my husband wants to play bingo tonight, so <laughs> see, we'll see if we end up doing that. I just might kick back and just enjoy not doing anything. It feels great. It feels absolutely great, except for I will be knitting. My mom's sweater, which is the notebook sweater that I talked about, I've got to get that taken care of so I can finish, um, so I can actually start some of the projects that I wanted to do this summer but never tackled. So um, being around everybody with their knitting projects has excited me to start knitting uh, my other projects that I want to get started on. I, I can't wait. So um, yeah, a uh, little story. It, this is how crazy everything has been so um this past week it's been crazy of course trying to get ready for the show getting my canning in um get you know ordering our solar generator and having it come in when it did which i'm so grateful um there through my son's school they have a retreat uh it's a two-day retreat so the kids stay overnight 
and they played tag that night, Thursday night, they played tag and uh, the uh, one little boy accidentally ran into my son who has wears glasses and his uh, the way things were the glasses gouged him and cut right into his eyebrow so I get a call from the principal oh you know he might need some stitches or maybe just easily glued um, I said okay let's meet up and uh, I'll take him to Med Express so we get to Med Express and it's almost eight o'clock and the doctor said, okay, we close at eight, maybe you should go to um, the emergency room. And I said, well, no, given our situation, let's take care of it here and uh, get it done and over with. So he said, okay, let's, let's get him prepped. So once Oren was prepped, the fellow was kind of drew back because when I saw my son, I'll, I'll share some pictures with you. When I saw my son, it was ha through half of his eyebrow. So this first half right here was a half an inch lower than this half. This half was up, this half was low. And I'm thinking, holy nuts, this isn't going to be a simple putting a butter as putting a butterfly on it and taking them home. No, it required more. The guy pulled that out and started searching even more. The gouge, the cut, the gouge went as deep as seeing the soft tissue of the inside of the eyelid, something to that effect. So I ended up taking him to an emergency room where they stitched up, you know, the inner layer pretty good and then the outer layer. So my son and I didn't get home until one o'clock Thursday night. I call him um, Mr. <laughs> because of the stitches, Mr. Frankenstein or Young Frankenstein, um, because of you know I'll share pictures of that. But he's doing well, and um, he's been a trooper. I know that you know it when he starts working and doing stuff, putting his head down, he can feel it. But otherwise, uh, he's been a great trooper. So, um, like I said, it's been an amazing show again. I, I just cannot, I, I so love this, the yarn community. Uh, you guys are amazing. You, may, you are what makes the show a lot of fun. So, um, that is the update for the Lehigh Valley Fiber Fest, and um, hopefully I can share more videos with you tomorrow about the setup. It, it's beautiful. So I'll talk with you later. Oh,